Hello, this is Peter Newman. I'm a member on the ANSYS student community, and some time ago I made a video called uh, Bolt Pretension Clamps Two Plates Together. So this is a follow-up video to show how to replace that solid uh, fastener with beam elements, and that's because uh, another member, George, has asked how to uh, use the feature called uh, beam connection to connect uh, two plates together uh, in a similar way. So there's uh, some confusion over um, the pinball and how to use that, and this video will clarify that. So if you uh, download that file, uh, the first thing you would do is copy system A, which I renamed solid body fastener, and uh, or it's called duplicate. If you right click and duplicate, it'll show up as B, and I renamed that to be beam element fastener, and then I opened the model. So that's where we are in a much newer version of ANSYS since I recorded that. And um, it, the goal is to eliminate that, so I'm going to suppress the fastener, which will mean some of the uh, things will be reassigned uh, down here, like the bolt pretension. And what we want to do is see the top solid, so I'm going to show that body. And the thing we're going to use instead of that solid body is under the connections folder to insert a beam. So the radius is uh, three millimeters. We'll, we'll actually type it in as one for now. Uh, you'll see why. Because when we go to select the face, it will uh, create something at the center of the face. And what we want is the location to actually be at the center of this hole. So uh, that is the reference location. And as we scroll down in the uh, beam categories, the mobile is the uh, threaded hole. So I'm just going to use the face of the threaded hole. And that is for scoping to the mobile side. So we've got uh, now a little beam here, and I'm going to bump that back up to uh, three millimeters to s show you it uh, sort of fills the hole on the bottom. And uh, the next critical thing is the pinball radius. So you can see that here. Uh, what I will say is I'm not using beam under the behavior. I'm leaving it as rigid, though I could choose deformable. But I will not choose beam because that doesn't make sense. Uh, the pinball radius, however, makes a big difference because uh, from this center point, we're going to search uh, around there out to a radius of six millimeters, which represents the 12 millimeter head. So uh, that is the beam completely defined. We just need to repair the pretension. So the bolt pretension is now not on solid geometry, but it's on the beam connection. And there's only one. And there it is. So at this point, we can just hit the solve. And uh, we'll uh, wait a little while to uh, get a result. And then we can see the um, connection elements that went from the center, uh, the top of the beam, out to the face that we selected and uh, see the representation of the 12 millimeter bolt head. Uh, this is um, nearly done. And then we'll scroll down to one of the results. OK, there it is. And here's the deformation. So very similar to having a solid body. But when we uh, click on the solution information, there's how it converged, very similar to the solid body one. But more important, when we click on geometry, we can now see a representation of the 12 millimeter bolt head and uh, the um, threads engaging. And uh, that is the correct way to use a 
connection called a um, beam connection. So hope this clarifies things and uh, good luck. Bye for now.